For all the hype that Honkai Star Rail has gotten this week, a lot of us Genji players have forgotten that a new banner is about to come out and a new rerun is about to come out as well. And yes, I am talking about Baiju and then rerun is going to be Ganyu. So today we are going to be talking about if the rerun banners are worth your primos. What is going on my dudes? Sasha here back again with another Genshin Impact video. And of course, if you like the content, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when the next Genshin Impact video comes out. And of course, leave a comment. We'd love to hear your guys' opinions. But without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Now, of course, I have been waiting for this banner for so dang long. I have been so excited for Baiju since the day that I saw him in Genshin Impact a long, long time ago. Now, what really hurts me and is what's going to hurt my wallet is that Ganyu is being reran. And Ganyu is my favorite character, if you couldn't tell. And I'm very stuck with having to pull for both of these peoples. I'm just saying, I gotta pull for the Coco Goat and I gotta pull for the best healer in the game. I'm just saying. Anyways, let's go ahead and first talk about the four stars. Now, as you can see, the first four star we're gonna be talking about today is Fischl. Now, the reason why I have mixed feelings about Fischl is that Fischl's still good. Fischl's still a really, really good character in general. And if you have Fischl, you should build Fischl. That's just how it is. But Fischl, in my opinion, when it comes to electro application has kind of dwindled down since the start of the game. And that's that's basically what's going to happen. You've got characters like Kuki Shinobu that apply electro so much better. You have Raiden Shogun, you have Yaimiko as five stars, which people have summoned for a lot. But of course, if you're new to the game, Fischl is a great character to go for. So I can't really blame you if you pull for Fischl. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Candice. And no, I'm not talking about the dick joke. Candice is... Well, Candice. And... I still think that Candice is a very lackluster character, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would agree with me on that. Now, bear in mind Candace is hot. There's no there's no denying that. Candace is very muy caliente. And yeah, I think I think if you like the character's aesthetic, you should summon for her, but at the same time, I don't think playability-wise Candace is that good. You're going to be kind of hurting yourself in the long run comparatively to if you went for a different character. So in my opinion, Candace is kind of a, a letdown. Now, let's talk about the new Dendro four-star unit, Kave. And what I've seen with Kave is really, really good in the sense of how Kave's kit kind of works out. And <laughs> it's tough, man. I want to say it's a new character summon, but at the same time, it's difficult because you're going to want to rock Kave with Bloom. And I, I, I'll, I'll, it, it's, it's tough, man. It's really, really tough. If I could pull it up here, uh, give me a second. Let me pull up. Or why am I pulling up Dokkan? I'm dumb. Uh, if I pull up Kave here in the Getcha database, we're gonna pull it up right here. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about his kid a little bit. As you can see with the, uh, where's the skill at? I think that's his normal. Yeah, that's a skill then. Okay, so with this skill, use Marek's mapping ability by offensive purposes, initiating a radial scale that deals AoE dendro damage, and if you can scan all the dendro cores of its AoE to cause an immediate burst. And then the burst, uh, all dendro cores created with your own party members from Bloom Reaction. So he's gonna be very stuck to a Bloom aesthetic. So you're gonna wanna make sure to have him in, on that blue Bloom team. So Nilu's gonna be great. You could use uh, uh, Kokomi. So there's there, there's definitely that. With this burst, I think that's gonna work. You have Nilu out there with Nahida or some sort of Hydro character with a Dendro character. Mm. You, cre you create all these cores. You switch to Kave, activate burst, all the blooms go off at once. You could probably get some really, really good damage with that. So I could definitely see that playing a big part of his kit. Oh, 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 I went too far. Now let's talk about 
Ganyu. I think you know what I'm gonna say. Ganyu is so dang good, even in today's meta. Now, granted, a lot of the meta today has having to do with Dendro reactions. However, if you have Nahida, Nahida actually does help Ganyu out. Plus, the ability to do as much damage as Ganyu is able to do with her uh, charge shots is insane. I just recently started, well, not recently, but I've been buffing my Ganyu over time, and I have finally gotten my Ganyu to do almost 90k damage per charge shot, which may not seem like a lot to a lot of uh, theory crafters in general, but to me, that's a big accomplishment, and my Ganyu could still get better. And Ganyu has withstood the test of time when it comes to DPS's slash supports, especially with her ability to create flowers that take aggro. That's fantastic, especially as a bow character. You want to be able to create that and get away. Now, sorry, I, I was restricting a yawn there. The problem with Ganyu for a lot of people is that she's boring gameplay. And I can understand it. I can really understand it. And this is my main. I love maining Ganyu. But I can truly understand where people get upset about how the gameplay for Ganyu goes. So I wouldn't blame you, but I think that Ganyu is a must summon, especially for your uh, freeze comps, your melt comps, especially on melt comp. Oh my God. What she does on melt comps is insane. Now let's talk about Baiju. Oh my god, Baiju. Baiju is a jack of all trades. He can heal, he can shield. When he shields, he can do damage. He does a lot of stuff. I honestly think that he's like a Zhongli, like alteration. He's the Dendro Zhongli. And I would honestly say like, he's gonna be considered a top 10 character at the very least because of what he could do. I've heard nothing but great things from the beta and yeah, I, I kind of pay attention to leaks. I'm sorry, Hoyoverse. I kind of have to. Um, but from what I've seen, from what his kit shows, and from what I've been talking with people about, Baiju here does amazing things. There's no denying that. <sighs> it's 1 a.m. I just finished the Dark Souls playthrough. We finally beat it, but... <laughs> Baiju is good. Baiju is great, in my opinion. And I can't wait to actually play as him. Now, should you summon on Ganyu? I'm always gonna say yes. I think Ganyu is underappreciated even though she's highly regarded. I still think she's underappreciated by a lot of people and I think it's because of the fact that I main her and people think that uh, teasing me is fun. But no, in all seriousness, it depends on your it depends on how you like to gauge your gameplay. If you like bow users, she's fantastic. If you like high damage dealers and you don't care about having to stay in the back and shoot that arrow, Ganyu's your go-to. Ganyu does that damage. You're able to distract enemies and just just big damage. Big damage, hot Coco girl action. Coco go girl, you you get what I'm saying? She's adorable, she's hot, she's fantastic. I think she's a must summon. Now again, considering the four stars, um, Candace doesn't really work with her. Uh, you could do a super conduct team with Fischl. Kind of works. And Dendro reactions don't entirely work with Ganyu, but Ganyu is a character by herself. That's what you need to focus on. Should you summon on Baiju? I think so. And the reason being is because if you look at the general team that you have, you have Candace, Kave, and Baiju. You could work Bloom with that and work perfectly. <sighs> Very good. But in contrast with Candace to Baiju, you could create your cores there, switch to Kave, activate your burst, and explode the Blooms. This is a good synergy team. I feel like it'll be a lot of fun. And I can't wait to try it because I want a reason to use Candace. I really do. Um, I think that honestly, Nilu would work better with that team comp over Candace, obviously, because her whole kit is Bloom. But I think that Baiju and Ganyu are must, must summons. If you have primos and you want to use them, this is a great time to do it in my personal opinion. But of 
course, my opinion is not the only one that matters. So tell me in the comments below, do you guys think that Baiju and Ganyu are a must summon? Would love to hear your guys' opinions, of course. And uh, you can check out all the links down in the description. We have a Discord where we talk about Genshin Impact and even Honkai Star Rail. Would love to see you guys there. But of course, that's going to be it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, we will catch you guys in the next video. Please take care and be safe, y'all.